Hello everyone, so today we're taking a look at Far Cry 4, across all formats. Now principally I've been playing this game on PC, but of course it's the same wherever you happen to be playing it. Now this is an open world first person shooter, and so on consoles it is a 30 frames per second presentation, and on PC, well it's as high as you can get your PC to cope with basically, but we found it very difficult to achieve a stable 60 frames a second with this game on PC at all in fact, even on a high-end quad-core system running a top-end Radeon GPU we found exactly the same problem. Unfortunately at times this game really struggles to maintain that 60 frames a second presentation. But what a presentation it is. This is one of the most beautifully detailed worlds I think I've ever played in. The level of detail within the trees and foliage is absolutely exceptional. The idea of having all of this wildlife running around as well, and the way that animation has been done for that wildlife with the beautiful fur technique that is available on NVIDIA GPUs, it just looks gorgeous in fact. So what's the plot? Well, you play AJ Kale, a young Kirati American, which we generally think is around the Nepalese region, Nepal, uh, of the world. Now, the story is basically one of, well, in some respects, revenge, and in other respects, liberation. The idea is, you arrive into this area, which is being oppressed by a warlord. Through your actions, you will liberate this country, hopefully bringing the population back under some kind of democracy. Now it's all played out through really beautifully detailed cutscenes. These are really well animated and the voice acting is exceptional as well. All this leads you on a really interesting story. Something that's actually quite engaging, maybe not gripping as such, but those opportunities where you have to make a decision between two different paths create some of the most interesting moments in the game. I actually found myself going back to an earlier save file so I could play through the other outcome just to see what would happen. And that's always the great hallmark of a game that's kind of hooked you into its story and made you feel like your decisions actually matter. Now the gunplay here is really solid as well, as we might expect from the fourth in the Far Cry series. Now personally I was never a big fan of Far Cry 1 or 2, and 3 didn't really grab me in a particularly awesome way. It always felt with Far Cry 3 that it was a great game, but it was never quite reaching the heights of many other titles. The Battlefield, the Call of Duties. But with Far Cry 4 it really does feel like this game is hitting for the stratosphere and surpassing everything else we've had come out over this last year. Even my most beloved Wolfenstein New Order feels in some ways limited in comparison to Far Cry 4. But those guns, the gunplay particularly, is really solid here. There's a wide variety of different weaponry to suit every kind of playstyle, from your assault rifles to your SMGs to even hunting bows, it's all here, and including things like obviously the rocket propelled grenade. Now all of these weapons are really meaty, they sound so solid and the animations are fantastic as well. When paired with big explosions, which Far Cry 4 is very good at by the way, it makes a game world which is not only beautiful to look at, but beautiful to destroy as well. With such a large world map, it's almost overloaded to the point where you kind of think to yourself, oh there's actually too much stuff here to do. It's a game that's very deep and involving from that point of view, having to move across the map taking checkpoints as well as scouting out the towers so that you can get a better view of your surrounding area, and then multiple small missions that really add to the kind of texture of the world but don't necessarily drive the story forward, but it all adds to, well quite frankly, a plethora of content here, probably one of the most jam-packed games I think I've seen since Skyrim. But with all that said, it is concerning that this game, like many released in 2014, seem to be incapable of having a frame rate that is stable above or around 60 frames a second. It does seem that PC gamers have been left out in the cold this year, quite spectacularly really. We've been buying new GPUs which offer a wide range of power and performance, yet games just don't seem to be making use of it properly, they are badly optimised. 
If I was Nvidia or AMD, I'd be starting to get a little bit annoyed actually that the only way that some of these games can be played is on a card that doesn't even exist yet. Even cards like the Titan cannot run some of these games released in 2014 at a stable frame rate. Now for my mind, that isn't bad GPU or drivers, that's lazy game development. And Far Cry 4 suffers from this to a certain extent as well. The level of detail within foliage and trees seems to be a major drag down on the system performance. Whenever you wander off into the wilderness, for instance, it is more than common to see a 10 or 15 frame per second drop down into the 40s to 45s. It's not a game breaker, but it is a bit ugly. And at times when those kind of performance bottlenecks kick in can sometimes be at the worst possible moment as well. Now we've tried this game across a wide range of different PCs and GPU combinations, from very high-end cards that have been overclocked, down to more modest mid-range cards. We found the same performance bottleneck over and over again. It just seems the level of detail is way too high as a fill rate if you happen to be in a wooded area. And this is obviously made more difficult when you happen to be driving the vehicles, the vehicles moving very quickly and that fill buffer is filling up so quickly, unfortunately you get this, well, frame rate drop. Now unfortunately, or should I say fortunately, this frame rate drop never goes under 30 frames a second. It's as though there is a cap off on the performance there that it can't tear under 30. Obviously that is there for consoles, but it makes me wonder if they could cap it off at 30, why couldn't they have optimized cap off at 60 as well for PC? Time and time again at the moment, PC gamers are getting screwed over and I really do hope 2015 shows games developers that they need to provide optimizations for everyone and that on PC, 60 frames a second is our standard and is to be expected. If you're gonna release a game on PC and you can't on mid-range hardware, on medium settings, achieve 60 frames a second stable, maybe you should think about delaying the game and optimizing it for PC. Because guess what? You'll probably sell more copies. Now this isn't a particular dig at Far Cry 4, which is actually one of the better optimized games we've seen this year. But I think it's important to note that as an industry, we seem to be seeing far too many games that release too early, unoptimized, and just need a ridiculous number of patches to get them up to a basic quality. Far Cry 4 is certainly well worth picking up as probably the best shooter of the year. Certainly I think it's a very, very solid contender for all of those Game of the Year awards. Wolfenstein New Order is a fantastic game, but when you consider what Far Cry 4 offers for the price point, it is blown out of the water. Far Cry 4 is the best shooter of the year, bar none. Thanks for watching. Don't forget you can pledge $1 a month on Patreon to help support the Androidizen, keeping us 100% independent. An honest opinion direct from the UK. If you pledge $1 a month, you'll be entered into our prize pool to win cool items from our review bag. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. We love to chat.